Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at some Masters of the Universe figure packs from Mega Constructs. Um, I found these at a local Walmart today and I was really shocked and surprised and very thrilled uh, because I thought that these weren't supposed to happen until way later this year. I can't remember if it was Toy Fair or PowerCon, one of those, where they showed us the whole lineup of the Mega Constructs uh, Masters of the Universe stuff that they have coming. And I thought I kept hearing fall 2020 because that's when the Origins line is supposed to happen. So I thought kind of everything was fall 2020. But randomly found these today. And like I said, I couldn't have been more excited. Um, these are very similar to the Mega Constructs Hero line that they did. Where they kind of just had single packed figures from various uh, properties. But now they're doing a dedicated Masters of the Universe one. The one thing I will note though... Uh, the packaging definitely feels cheaper on these. Not that it's a big deal, and I love how the front mimics the original packaging uh, of the toys back in the 80s, so I do love that. The design-wise, from the front, very bright, very fun. I was kind of surprised the back is just kind of boring cardboard, though. Even like It shows the other ones in the wave, but there's not really any color going on here. I don't know, I guess it's just a cost-cutting measure. At the end of the day, it's not a big deal. But uh, it, it almost makes them feel like cheaper quality like something you'd find at like a dollar store or something like that but i don't believe they are i think they're normal figures they look great so i don't know i was just surprised the packaging was a little cheaper on the back but again at the end of the day not a big deal most people don't even keep packaging so as long as the figures inside are great now here we have the first wave uh we have skeletor evelyn stratos moss man and prince adam again i was very excited i never found the Stratos that was part of that last wave of Mega Constructs Heroes, I think it was wave five, had Stratos and Scareglow. And I really wanted both of those, and I just could not find them anywhere. <laughs> I was really bummed. I kept checking Amazon. But the thing is, both Target and Walmart are very weird about how they stock Mega Constructs stuff. Uh, the Mega Constructs Heroes, I don't think I've ever seen at Target. They would kind of come and go uh, at Walmart, like Walmart would have wave one. Uh, I don't think they had Wave 2, they didn't have 3, then they randomly got Wave 4, and then never got Wave 5. But then they randomly get this in. So, they're so finicky with what they choose to stock and don't stock, I really don't know how it works. But I was very excited to find these. Uh, I believe the Stratos and the Mega Constructs line has the colors inverted. Because I think back in the uh, day with the original toy, you could find it both ways. There was a red harness, blue feathers, or blue harness, red feathers. I think blue harness, red feathers was more common. Uh, so that's kind of what they did first in the Mega Constructs line. But then to make it a little different, they gave us the inverted colors for this one. But hey, if you're like me and you never found a Stratos, any Stratos will do. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead. Like I said, I'm not going to bother to show you the back of all these because it's just the cardboard. They're all the same. But uh, I'm going to get these guys opened up and then we'll take a closer look. So here are the five fully assembled out of the packaging. And when I say fully assembled, a few of them have uh, minor weapon builds. That's really it. The figures come fully assembled. You don't have to put them together in any way. Uh, but starting over here at Skeletor, one thing I will note right off the bat, the stands are one solid piece now. Before it was a piece similar to this uh, that would connect to maybe two or three other pieces. Very simple build stand. Uh, but they've just foregone that now and it's just one solid piece. You can see it says Skeletor painted there very nicely on the front. It looks like you could connect this to something else if you wanted to, but one solid piece now. Uh, Skeletor looks pretty cool. I will say that the blue of his body is a definite darker blue than we've seen so far in this line. And I'm wondering if... I don't... I'm trying to think if this is more cartoon accurate. I feel like it's probably more cartoon accurate than original toy accurate, but I could be completely wrong about that. It almost has like a yellowish quality to the blue. He still has the little spot for a sword, but unfortunately he does not come with a sword. And then he has the, the brick built Havoc Staff. I wanted to show off real quick because we've had uh, several Skeletors. I'm going to move these other guys out of the way very temporarily. Uh, so this is the Skeletor we just got. This is the original Skeletor from the Mega Constructs Heroes line. You can see what I mean about the... Oops, a little dusty. You can see what I mean about the original stand and how the new one is different. But this is the Mega Constructs Heroes first Skeletor. And you can see the Havoc Staff is the same build. It's just different colors. But you can see how his blue is very light as opposed to this guy's, which is very teal, I'm going to go with. We'll say teal. Then we have the Skeletor that came with the Wind Raider. 
And then we have the Skeletor that came with the Castle Skull. So I think the Castle Skull Skeletor is still my favorite. Just because I think the light blue with the really dark purple really pops. And they did a really great paint job on his face. But we've had four variations of Skeletor. And as you can see, no two of them are the same. So you may be thinking, oh wow, another Skeletor in this wave? They're all different. This one, I would say the one we just got is the most different of all of them because the blue of his skin is much darker than we've gotten in the past. And he's got a much lighter Havoc staff as well. Plus he has the like skull of the ram uh, actually skull colored as opposed to being purple like the rest of the staff. So pretty cool. I like it. I like the fact that they give us a different variation and not just the same. Like it's the same figure, but it's painted differently every time. So it makes it uh, desirable to collect all the variants, which I think is really neat. So putting him off to the side, next up we'll take a look at Eva Lynn. I think she looks great. Very nice detail. Very nice paint. She also had a previous figure. This is the Eva Lynn from the Mega Constructs Heroes line, Wave 4. This, I believe, is very uh, accurate to the original toy, whereas I believe this is accurate to the cartoon. So... It's definitely worth picking up both variants, in my opinion. I think the original one has a better staff. They gave a little bit more attention to that, but otherwise, it's pretty much the same build. Just a little jewel on top is different. But otherwise, the figure itself, very nicely painted. And I probably should show off the articulation for these. Um, if you're familiar with Mega Constructs, the, the figures are very similar in articulation. So the heads are on little ball joints. You have the uh, shoulder movement, and then you have the same kind of joint here in the elbow. Move side to side as well as move around. Wrist swivel, waist swivel, ball joint in the hip. Let me go ahead and remove it from the base. And then you have 90 degree bend in the knee, and then the feet are one solid piece. So for figures this size, really a nice amount of articulation. That's one thing I've always thought Mega Constructs really does well is the figures with their builds. Which is another reason it's really fun to just collect these little figures on their own, even without the sets. If you can't afford the larger sets, I say, hey, pick up some of these little figures because they're great. So really sharp paint, really nice articulation. Definitely like this Evil Limb. All right, next up we're going to do Stratos. And this is the only Stratos that I have, so I can't do a comparison. He does come with this crazy uh, staff, which I really don't remember Stratos having a bunch of crazy staves. But um, I guess he must because... The uh, Filmation, uh, Super 7 Filmation figure came with two different staffs as well. Staves? Staffs? Staves? I think it's correct. I don't know. In any case, it's a neat, crazy build staff. But let's take a look at Stratos himself because I am loving this figure. I really need to track down the Mega Constructs Heroes Wave 5 because I do want the blue harness red feathers as well. But he looks great. I mean, the detailing on the feet is right off of the original toy. That's perfect. I love the big feathers here on his arms and the cool jetpack. I mean, it's just, it's like the original toys come to life and I absolutely love it. I'm such a huge fan of these figures. Again, all the same articulation, but he just looks fantastic. And hey, he comes with a crazy giant staff. Why not, right? Let me put him back on the base. And we will move on next to Moss Man, one of my favorite characters. Love Moss Man. He looks great. Again, look at that detail. The sharpness of the paint at that small scale. The eyes are nicely painted. The teeth. The red inside the mouth. I mean, it's all just so well done. It impresses me to get that fine a detail in such a small area. I wanted to go real quick and compare him to the Flocked Moss Man. This is the uh, Flocked Moss Man that came with the San Diego Comic-Con Battle Bones exclusive. So if you were unable to get a hold of that exclusive, you can get a version of Mossman. He won't be fuzzy as this one is, but he still looks great. I just wanted to show off that comparison. You can see the weapon is slightly different as well. But uh, still, really great figure. Great representation of Mossman. There's so many rich characters to pull from in the Masters of the Universe history. I really hope this line continues for a while. And then last but certainly not least, we have Prince Adam. Now, as you can probably tell, this is a He-Man figure that they kind of painted differently and then gave him some new accessories. But I think he looks great. I mean, it makes sense. You're not going to reinvent the wheel if you don't have to. 
he does have the white um like chain bracelets whatever you want to call them you can take those off if you think they're a little out of place if you just wanted to have kind of normal arms it's up to you i'm gonna leave them on just because they came on there but uh it does seem like not out of place but just seems like prince adam probably wouldn't have those but again if you don't want them you can easily just take them off but i love the vest they did a great job the purple boots and uh, legs all look really good and then of course comes with the iconic pink sword I kind of wish he had like a little clip to, to mount it on his back, but not a big deal. I remember when they did the Warcraft line, they had very tiny little like U-hooks that you could peg into the back. And then that way you could peg weapons into them. So I feel like, I don't know if they're doing that again or not, but that would be like a neat little accessory just to include. So you can clip weapons onto the back. But he looks great. I was kind of surprised we didn't get a He-Man in this first wave, but I think it makes sense since we were getting Prince Adam. If you had a Prince Adam and a He-Man in the in the first wave, that would be kind of two slots with almost the same character. And plus, they probably figure you have a He-Man by now. But I'm sure he'll probably pop up in a future wave, so don't worry. I do think that Scare Glow that I missed is also supposed to show up in a future wave. Or if not, he comes with one of the sets they're doing later on. I know they have a bunch of sets planned for later this year. All look phenomenal. So I was super excited to find these. They're great. I love them. I love this line. Um, it's definitely one of the things that has rekindled my love of Masters of the Universe uh, over the past year is the amazing job that Mega Constructs has been doing with this property. So, so exciting, so excited that it's continuing and uh, was so excited to find these figures. So here's to a second wave and more sets in the future of 2020. But let me know, um, well, actually you can't let me know what you think because the comments have been disabled. But in any case, <laughs> this will do it for... Uh, for this video please like share and subscribe and i hope you guys enjoyed the video as always thank you so much for watching